What is up guys, welcome to a new video and today we are back on Forza Horizon 4 because today we're doing my first Forza Don live. You might have seen a few videos about this, I honestly don't know what to expect. I haven't had the chance to use the online functionalities of this game because my internet is utter shit. But... Today, we're doing my first the Forza Thon Live. If I go into camera mode, you will be able to see the little blimp. Where is it? There it is, look. It says Forza Thon Live, number uno. I haven't done one of these, so this is going to be really interesting to see what it all is like. You can see everyone outside. I was going to make a different video today, but like I said, I really want to cover this because I haven't had the chance to do this yet. And we're just going to wait for this to start. I don't really know what to expect. We've got two minutes till it starts. Everyone's in, like, different cars. I seem to be the only one in something off-road, though. Like... I don't know, hopefully everyone likes my Lancer. Lancia! Lancia! Mitsubishi aren't in this game, ha 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 ha. Right, now we've got to wait a minute and a half, so... I guess I'm just gonna skip this minute and a half. I was gonna wait till the countdown's finished, but I just wanna say... Like, why is there no option to give me a yeet in chat? I would be spamming yeets, if that was a possibility, in chat. Right, here we go. So now we need to get to the speed trap. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, you could have told me that before I switched car. That would have been quite useful. Right, we're going to have to go into something fast, aren't we? So I'm going to need to change car. Right, oh, pfft. something fast. I need to do this relatively quickly as well. Let's just get in my Sesto Elemento. That's an easy one to pick. Now, this is going to be relatively fly on the wall. I actually, I've never done one of these. Like I said, this is the first one I've done. So this is going to be very fly on the wall. Go, go, go. Oh, the Sesto Elemento is not doing very well off-road. Oh, it's a rock. Right, go, 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 go. So it seems like the group progress is just to keep hitting this speed trap. So, okay, there we go. Boom, 150. What's the actual goal, though? We're not, we're not we're not doing this for 15 straight minutes, surely. This really reminds me of Burnout Paradise. I'm getting really, really heavy Burnout Paradise kind of influence from this. Jesus Christ, they're coming from the top of the hill. That was done really, really fast. And now we've got to get to the drift zone. So now I've got to switch car again, haven't I? Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it in this. Right, I'm just going to pick one car and stick with it. Because otherwise, I'm going to be here all day. Yeah, okay, my R30, my R32 should be able to do everything. Maybe other than off-road. So th if this is off-road, then I'm just going to kill myself. Oh, uh, it actually is off-road as well, isn't it? Mad. Oh, my. I should have sticked with my Lancer, you know. I don't even know why I bothered changing. Right, my R32 should still be able to do some sick skids. So, let's just hope for the best. How people are doing this in Chirons, I have absolutely no idea. So, my first impressions with this. This is really cool to be doing this within real life people, uh, to be honest. That's the first thing which hits me immediately about this. Like, it's also seamless. It's really weird. I'm not sure whether it's just because, obviously, it's pre-release, so... You know, everyone kind of wants to do it and stuff or whatever. But, like, this seems really, really seamless. And, like, there's a lot of people here. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to mess around with the online stuff yet so far because my internet isn't very good and there hasn't been many people in my area when I've been playing, like, uh, like there will be on launch. But this is awesome. Like, this is really cool. I can genuinely see more racing games doing this. Like, it would not surprise me if, you, if I saw something like this come up in, say, Need for Speed or Force or um, The Crew. Like, this is something which I think both of them should take, you know, note of, because it's fucking sick. That guy's in an RS200, that would have been a really good idea. Right, and flick it. Look at the angle on the dirt. When it gets dark, it gets dirty. That's what I like to hear. The downhill's so much easier. I wish it did tell me what the actual goal was, though, because I feel like a bit of a headless chicken right now. I wish I kind of knew what the actual goal was. I'm doing so much better this time. That fifth, is that, we're going to break 60k, maybe? Boom. Ah, oh, no, fuck me, Jesus Christ. One of the reviewers said that this can get quite tedious. And I, c I kind of understand what he means. It's only because I don't know what the total is. If I knew what the total was, I don't think it would be as bad. But, like, just not knowing really what I'm working towards is a bit annoying. And I'm also not sure how many Forza Thumb points it gets. Essentially, these events will give you Forza Thumb points, which you can then spend in the Forza Thumb shop. Um, and in the Forza Thumb shop is, like, special, like, items of clothing or Forza Thumb cars. Um, which you can only get there. And, yeah, I'm not sure how much we're going to get for this, to be honest. Hopefully it's a fair bit, because, like, it looks quite time-consuming. And this is also what I mean with the lag. You can see there, kind of lag for a second. I've been getting that constantly for, like, a long time. So, again, it's just something to keep in mind um, for when the game launches. I'm not going to judge the game on that yet, because, obviously, like, this is before launch. 
Um, and I do think it will get better, but I have had a lot of that so far. wonder if there's any YouTubers here that we recognise, because I'm obviously playing before the game's launch, so there might be a few people which people recognise in this lobby, which I don't. Might be quite interesting. Hey, round two, done. Let's fucking go. Imagine just fucking going up the side of a fucking rock face in an R32 and just slammed. Why is this all off-road? Why did you do this to me? I was in an off-road card staff with as well, for fuck's sake. It seems like it's just a bunch of skill challenges mixed together in a group but the, like i said the point i don't really know what the goal is so that like is it that's a bit of a problem oh i failed it again for fuck's sake right we're just gonna see if we can just go straight up this fucking cliff face come on you know what i still think it might have actually been faster to do this oh there we go we're finally getting some speed all-wheel drive. That's how it works. I'm not saying do this in real life, though. That might not work out for you. Come on, let me in. Let me in. I just want to join you guys. Really didn't want to have to switch car again. It looks like I'm going to have to. Right, we're going to steal that guy's idea because that seemed like a clever idea. Watch now. As soon as we've switched over to that, it's going to give us a bunch of fucking on-road events. Right, go, 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 go. Things will hopefully be a lot easier now in the RS200. I think I'm onto a fast one here. We're going to... Can make sure you clip it? If you do actually go off the road, it does fail you, which is quite nice. That Chiron, you're not going to beat me. Ah, uh, right, you might you might have beaten me. Right, there we go, and across the line. And we are now at 1488. So I'm assuming we need to get to 3000. I think that's the goal. I, I think we're going to fail this one, to be honest. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is really intense, though, because everyone's really proper fucking going for it. There's obviously going to be the lobbies where, like, no one is. But right now, like, that guy, I don't know where he's going. But he's probably not doing the best of jobs for the team. 70. Was that was that a new PB? I don't think so. But we're going to see if we can get three stars on it this time. Oh, I'm really giving it some right now. And we're going to flick it. Look at me. Basically, Colin McRae. But just Browner. Okay, apparently we won that one. And we got thir 30 for the thumb points. Is that it now? Have we all just been departed? Wow, that was really weird. Right, so for those who don't know what the Forza Thun shop is, let me quickly show you. So if I go over here, this is the current uh, kind of items in the Forza Thun shop. I have 200 Forza Thun points. So I could pretty much buy anything in here other than the Bentley. Not like I'd want the Bentley anyway. And this shop will reset in a day and 23 hours and 20 and, and then 19 minutes, which is basically two days. Um, and basically in here, like you'll have a bunch of cars which you might want to buy or not, might not want to buy. And you can't really buy wheel spins anymore. So that's been completely been taken out. You can only buy them with four of thumb points and that is all in here and that's what forza thun live is going towards and obviously you get 30 per hour if you were to do them per hour so that's my first forza thun live um yeah it was interesting it's quite, I, I, kind of nice to split up the gameplay i can see if you're having if you were having a long session and one of those came along i can see why you'd want to do it um but again i need to spend more time in this game at the moment i've been really enjoying my experiences uh, but i think that's been it for me today so if you guys enjoyed if you did make go ahead hit the like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one you guys have an awesome day safe and peace Dirty!